Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. Now let's see theory of computation homework one solutions. Okay, in this homework one, basically all the questions are uh, on the basic concepts, on the basic terminology of theory of computation. Let me tell you that all these questions in the homework one, these are taken from Peter Lin's sixth edition. Okay, so from this book. An introduction to formal languages and automata by Peter Lynch. From this book, all these questions have been taken in this homework one. Now let's solve these questions. So let's see the question number one. Question number one is asking how many substrings A A B. Okay, how many substrings A A B are in W W reverse W where W is A A B B A B. So this is a very simple question. Now let's solve this. So first of all, the, in this question, the this W is given to you. So what will be W W reverse W? So first you write W W reverse W. What that will be? Very simple. So this is concatenation. You can notice W concatenated with W reverse concatenated with W. So first you write W. That will be A A B B A B. Then you write W reverse. So what will be W reverse from here? So W reverse will be B A B B A A. Okay, basically this is your W. So reverse will be B A B B A A. This will be W reverse. Okay. Now let's write the W reverse. So that will be B A B B A A. And then you again write W. That will be A A B B A B. So this is your string W W reverse W. Now the question is asking how many substrings, how many occurrences are there of this substring A A B. So in this string you have to find out all the occurrences of a a b so let's find out so clearly you can notice that this is your first occurrence that is a a b okay so we have this a a b then okay basically you have to focus on a a b this substring this substring you want okay so basically in this string let's assume this is your string w w reverse w in this string what you want you want the substring a a b this substring a a b you want okay now let's find out so you can notice that this is your a a b next so you have to focus on a a b so let's focus on a a b wherever you find double a then followed by b so let's find out so where is double a followed by b so clearly there is no double a followed by b double a followed by b so finally here you have so here what you have this is double a followed by b okay so finally for this question answer will be two for this question answer will be two i can say that in this string in this string how many times this a a b is appearing so in this string i can say number of appearances number of occurrences of number of occurrences of substring a a b so that will be that will be two okay so very simple question now let's see question number two this is question number two show that if u is any string and n is any number this is non negative number then show that the cardinality of u power n is equal to n cardinality of u so this question is very simple let me take some example so let's assume u this is a string so let me assume that alphabet is a comma b okay so let's take let's assume that alphabet is a comma b now on this alphabet let me give you a string so consider this string for example a b b consider this string then clearly what will be what will be u power 3 u power 3 will be a b b a b b a b b okay so what is the length of u power 3 if i ask you what is the length what is the length of u power 3 so clearly u power 3 length will be u u u okay so the length of u power 3 that will be three times length of u okay so the same idea you can apply basically if any string you have any alphabet you have on this alphabet this alphabet can be any alphabet okay this can be any alphabet you can take it does not matter what is your alphabet unary binary ternary any alphabet you can take on this alphabet if you have a string w on this alphabet if i have a string w let's assume this is the string w on this alphabet like for example this l this string a b b this is a string on this alphabet now similarly so assume that you have any alphabet unary binary ternary okay any alphabet you have and this is the string on this alphabet then what will be w power n what will be w power n so how do we define the power of a string so we already know that power of a string that is defined in terms of 
concatenation so w power n that means w w w and so on n times w okay so this will happen i can say this will happen n times w for example you can notice what will be u power 4 that will be u u u u so i can say okay 4 times u okay similarly w power n that will be w w w n times w okay now after this n times w so what is the length of what is the length of w power n what is the length of this this is your w power n okay so what is the if i ask you what is the length of w power n that will be length of this and so i can say length of w power n that will be remember this is n times w so what is the length of this what is the length of this this is w followed by w followed by w and so on so the length of w power n that will be n times length of w okay so this is the proof very simple proof so idea is very simple you can take any example like if you take this u if you take this u then u power 3 that will be u followed by u followed by u 3 times u so you can notice that here u power 3 length what is the length of u power 3 that is 9 so u power 3 length that is 9 and that 9 is nothing but that 9 is nothing but 3 multiplied by length of u that is 3 okay so u power 4 so what will be the length of u power 4 u power 4 length will be 4 times length of u length of u so similarly here i can say w power n means w followed by w followed by w n times w so what will be length of w power n that will be n times length of w n times length of w so this is the proof so you can notice for any string so finally this is the conclusion that for any string whatever string you take on any alphabet or any string you take then the length of w power n that will be n times length of w please don't make this mistake this is a very common mistake that if you have some alphabet on this alphabet let us assume you have this string w okay this can be any alphabet remember this can be binary uh, unary any alphabet this can be unary uh, this can be unary alphabet binary alphabet ternary alphabet english alphabet okay so this can be any alphabet and this is your string that remember this is a very common mistake that what what students do this is what they do that length of w power n that is length of w power n okay this is a very common mistake this this is wrong because for example if you take like if i take the let me assume that this is <clears throat> this is your alphabet and let me assume that your string is for example a b then tell me what will be w power what will be w power 4 w power 4 will be a b followed by a b followed by a b followed by a b because remember w power 4 that is w followed by w followed by w followed by w this is w power 4 so w power 4 will be this is this is string so what is the length of w power 4 here if i ask you the length of w power 4 that is clearly 8 that is clearly 8 and that is nothing but 4 times length of w 4 times length of w and now you can clearly see that if you write length of w power 4 is equal to length of w power 4 now length of w is what length of w is 2 so from here if you write length of w power 4 that will be 16 and which is a wrong answer which is a wrong answer so this is wrong so finally i can say this is a very common mistake many students make this mistake that length of w power n that is length of w power n okay so this is a incorrect the correct answer is length of w power n that will be n times length of w this is correct okay now let's see question number three what this question number three is saying this is the definition of reverse is given to you what is the definition of reverse we know that if you have any string for example if you have any string a1 a2 a3 then what will be the reverse of this string how do we define the reverse of this string so this is your string this is your string let's assume this is your string a1 a2 a3 then reverse means you write this do you write every letter in the reverse order you write this string in the reverse order so w reverse will be a3 a2 a1 this will be the w reverse for example if your string your string that is let's assume that is mobile okay this is your string so what will be the reverse of this string reverse of this string means you write this string in the reverse order so in the reverse order when you write it then it will be then it will be like this okay alibom okay so this is your string and the reverse of this string will be alibom now clearly if your string is a1 a2 a3 if this is your string then the reverse of your string will be a3 a2 a1 like this now what is the reverse of a single uh, letter like for example let us assume your alphabet is a comma b so this a comma b these are the letters 
what we call them we call them symbols these are symbols a comma b these are symbols this a is a symbol this b is a symbol and you know what is the length of a symbol that is one length of every symbol that is one okay because a symbol is what symbol is basically i can say indivisible entity you cannot divide a symbol for example here you can notice here you have three symbols okay here you have six symbols but every symbol is an indivisible entity every symbol is an atomic entity so this is a symbol and this is atomic entity length of every symbol is one now now in this situation what will be length of a symbol so very simple that uh, what will be reverse of a symbol so if i ask you what is the a reverse that will be a and what if what if i ask you what is b reverse that will be b okay so reverse of a single symbol okay that will be that symbol itself now if i ask you what is the reverse of ab what is the reverse of ab that will be ba so you can clearly see that if you have so you know that if you have like a belongs to sigma then it simply what it means remember sigma is alphabet then it simply means that this is a symbol this simply means this is a symbol it simply means that the length of a is one so if i ask you what is the reverse of a that will be a now let us assume that let us assume that this w is a string this w is a string so can i say w belongs to sigma can i say w belongs to sigma no this is wrong because sigma is the alphabet in this sigma you have you have alphabet means in the in this sigma you have symbols but i am assuming this is a string let me let me assume w is a string if w is a string then what what should happen then i can say w belongs to sigma star because we know what is sigma star sigma star is set of all strings this sigma star this is set of all strings so in this sigma star every element is a string okay so so similarly i can say if w belongs to sigma star it means that w is a string this w is a string now if you have w w is some string maybe for example maybe w is a b a a maybe this is your w let us assume then now what will be w reverse w reverse will be a a b a but the question is if w is a string okay if w is a string then what will be reverse of w a remember a is symbol remember a is symbol a is symbol and w is a string so if w is a string a is a symbol then what will be the reverse of w a okay so what that will be what that will be for example here you can notice what will be the reverse of w a so very simple first of all you find out w a what is your w a in this situation let's find out so what is w a in this situation so first of all uh, before finding so this is what we need we want w a reverse this is what we want so first you find out what is w a w a means w followed by a this is w followed by a this is your w a now what will be w a reverse w a reverse will be a a a b a this will be w a reverse so you can see that if okay if you want to find out what is the reverse of w a what is the reverse of w a remember w a means this is your w this is your w and this is your a and you want to find out the reverse of this so what will be the reverse of w a that will be you write this in the reverse order you write this in the reverse order so the answer will be a followed by w reverse because you write this in the reverse order so it will be w a and this w will become reverse basically because you are writing in the reverse order so it will become a w reverse remember this is a common mistake let me tell you that this is a common mistake what many students this make this this student uh, sorry this mistake many students make what they do w a reverse you know what is w a reverse this is your w this is your w w is a string but a is a symbol a is a symbol alphabet symbol so what is the reverse of w a then what many students do they write they write like this no this is wrong this is wrong because w is a string remember w is w is a string for example for example maybe w is a b b okay for example maybe w is a triple b maybe because w is a string so i can take uh, w as triple b so in this situation what what should be w a reverse w a reverse must be what should be w a reverse you know what is w a w a means a b b this is w followed by a this is your w a so what should be w a reverse w a reverse must be a then triple b then a this should be the w a reverse okay but if you do this mistake okay if you do this mistake that w a reverse if you do this mistake that w a reverse is a w if you do this mistake then what it means it means a w and w is a triple b 
now clearly you can notice that you your answer should be this but you are getting this answer okay so definitely this is wrong so this is a common mistake that many students make so don't make this mistake so this is the final conclusion if w is a string means w belongs to sigma star because w is a string and a is a alphabet symbol means a belongs to alphabet okay so remember here w is a string and a is a symbol a is alphabet symbol okay a is symbol then in this situation in this situation if i ask you what is w a reverse then remember the answer will be a w reverse okay and this mistake don't make this mistake this is wrong that if you say w a reverse is equal to a w this is wrong okay because remember w is a string this is the string w so if you want to find out w a whole reverse then what you will do you will write it in the reverse order when you write this in the reverse order then it will become a w reverse a w reverse okay so final answer will be a w reverse now what we have to prove in this question basically we have to prove that if you have two string u comma v then their reverse will be v reverse u reverse and this is very easy to prove okay so basically what the question is saying that you have some alphabet you have some alphabet and let us assume that w comma x they belong to sigma star it means w is also w is also a string and because remember sigma star means set of all strings so in this you have set of all strings so every element is a string in this sigma star okay set of all strings so it means what it means w comma x these are the strings these are the strings so what will be w x reverse if i ask you what will be w x reverse what that will be remember what is w x w x means w followed by x okay w x means w followed by x so this is w this is w followed by x followed by x this is w followed by x this is your w x now what will be the reverse of w x what will be the reverse of w x we want to find out reverse of w x so if you want to find out the reverse of w x remember w x reverse if you want to find out means you want to find out the reverse of this w x then what you will do you will write this in the reverse order so when you write this in the reverse order then what will become so when you write this in the reverse order then it will become it will happen x reverse w reverse it will become x reverse okay because if you write this in the reverse order then first x will reverse then w will reverse so it will happen that x reverse w reverse so this is what we are saying that w x reverse that is x reverse w reverse okay and this is the proof so this is the result so this is the important result many times you will use this result so finally i can say that uh, the result what is the so let me tell you the result the result is that if you have basically any time w x reverse if you want to find out then that will be x reverse w reverse okay this will work for alphabet symbol also because remember every alphabet symbol is also a string okay because remember this will work for any string this will work for any string so this w can be any string and this x can be any string and remember this will this will this will apply on alphabet symbol also because every alphabet symbol is also a string for example if you if you have let us assume your alphabet symbol is a comma b these are your alphabet symbols then clearly this a is also a string okay this is alphabet symbol also this is a string also this is a string of length 1 i can say every alphabet symbol is a string of length 1 okay similarly this b this is a string of length 1 okay so if i ask you what will be a b whole reverse then that will be b reverse a reverse b reverse a reverse now remember because these are alphabet symbol because these are alphabet symbol so b reverse will be b a reverse will be a okay so this will happen so finally what i am saying that this will happen this will always happen that if you have two strings or any anything basically if you have w x reverse then remember w x reverse will definitely be x reverse w reverse okay this is a very common mistake this is a very common mistake that many students make and what is that that they do like this w x reverse means w reverse x reverse this is wrong this is wrong why what is the reason because remember as i told you that this is your w and this is your x this is your w and this is your x and if you want to find out w x whole reverse then that will be okay if you want to write it in the reverse order then first you will make x reverse then you will make w reverse okay this will be the correct answer so remember w any any string w comma x w is a string x is a string 
ओके सो दैट रिवर्स विल बी एक्स रिवर्स डब्ल्यू रिवर्स ओके दिस विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड इफ यू राइट डब्ल्यू रिवर्स एक्स रिवर्स दैट विल बी द रोंग आंसर ओके सो दिस इज योअर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन द पिटर लिंस दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ओके वेरी सिंपल दिस इज वॉट वी हैव डन द प्रूफ वी हैव डन ओके नाउ लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर Let's see this question number four in the Peter Lynch book. This is prove that W reverse whole reverse is equal to W for all strings. Remember what is this sigma star? We already know the sigma star. If your sigma is the alphabet, then this sigma star is set of all strings. So every element in sigma star is a string. Remember, so this is set of all strings. Set of all strings. Every string is in the sigma star. So if I say that W belongs to sigma star, then what it means? It means that W is a string because W belongs to sigma star, and in the sigma star we have all the strings. So it means W is a string. Now the question is saying that prove that W reverse whole reverse is equal to W. If you do reverse and then you again do the reverse, then you will get W. And this is very intuitive. This will definitely happen if you take any W. For example, let us assume. Let us assume W is. Uh, you can take any W. For example, let us assume W is mobile. This is your string. Let us assume this is your string. Then what will be W reverse? You are writing this in the reverse order. So the reverse order, if you write, then it will become E L I B O M. Then if you want to find out W reverse whole reverse, if you again reverse this, then what you will get? Just again reverse this. Write this in the reverse order. Basically, this is your W reverse. You again reverse this. You again reverse this. Then what you will get? Then you will get okay. This W you will get. So this is the very simple. This is very intuitive that if you have W, you reverse it, and if you again reverse it, definitely you will get W. Okay. So this is very intuitive, and you can prove it very easily. The proof is like this. If you want to prove it. Then the proof is also very simple. Let's assume W is because W is a string. Remember W is a string. So let's assume that W is a1, a2, a3, and so on. A n. Let's assume this is your W. Means W is a n length string. Here I am assuming. Okay, so if if W is a n length string, then it means a i. Every a i is a alphabet symbol. Okay, every a i that is a alphabet symbol. For example, here you can notice this W is a I can say this W. This W is six length string. So I can say this is a1, this is a2, this is a3. I can say this is a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6. So like this you can check. Okay. So if I assume that this is your W. W is a1 to a n. This is your W. Where this is alphabet symbol. This is alphabet symbol. This is alphabet symbol. So finally this is your string. Now what will be W reverse? Then in this situation what will be W reverse? W reverse means you write this in the reverse order. So in the reverse order, when you write it, then what you will get? Then something like this you will get. Okay, so this is what you are going to get. Now, if I do again reverse, means W reverse whole reverse, W reverse whole reverse. If I do, then what I will get? Then if I do the reverse of this string again, if I again write this in the reverse order, then what I will get? I will get a1, a2, a3, and so on, a n, and which is same as W. This is your proof. Okay, you can take any example. For example, let's assume your alphabet is a comma b. Let's assume this is the alphabet, and let me assume that w is. Let me assume that w is a a w is a a a b a b b. Let's assume this is your w. Then clearly in this w you can notice that basically this is your a one, this is your a two, this is your a three, and this is a four, this is a five, a six, and a seven. This is your a. Okay, so this is your w. In this w, you can clearly see this is your w. Now, if you want to find out the reverse of this w, then what it will become? It will become b b a b triple a. And then again, if you find out the reverse, then again, if I do the reverse, okay, then what I will get? Then I will get a a a b a b b. And this is nothing but your w. So, so this is the final conclusion that any string you take, any any string you take. Then what will happen if you reverse and then you again reverse? Then you will get the same string. And this is very intuitive. You have any string, you reverse it, and then you again reverse it. You will get the same string. Okay. So this is your question number four. Now in the next lecture we will see the remaining questions of this Peter Lynch uh, chapter one. Okay. So in the next in the next video we will see the remaining questions. Okay.